Hello everybody. I got some awesome satellite images to show you today. But first I'm going to do a quick walkthrough the earthquake activity over the last day, which has been crazy compared to yesterday. We've detected 2100 earthquakes since midnight and some of them were on the bigger side. Now and in total we have detected 34,000 earthquakes since February 28th, which is more than in all of 2020 on Reykjanes Sky. We also got some earthquake on the bigger Saturday, with one topping the scale at 5.1 Richters. It hit at around 3 a.m. this morning and I woke up to it and felt it. There were also two earthquakes over 4 in magnitude this afternoon, but I unfortunately missed them. But there was one earthquake caught on live TV this evening. I was watching the TV, but I did not feel it. Check it out. Oh. <laughs> you probably didn't hear it. It was only 3.8 in magnitude. But funny, nevertheless. You might be thinking though, what were those images he was talking about? Well, I'm going to take a look at them now. Two in-star images were taken from a satellite, seven days apart, and it shows how much the Earth has shifted in different places in a seven-day time period. This is from the first week in this earthquake era, which has the most activity. Here are the most recent one, and you can see where the red areas are, the Earth has shifted by 28 millimeters in a 7 day period. And the area with the most concentration is where the magma dike sits, and is causing these shifts in the Earth's crust. It sits at its shallowest under Fagradalsfjall, and with this Google Earth view you are looking right down on the surface where this magma dike is hiding. With all these new informations, an eruption is becoming more and more likely, so I think I can say for the first time here that an eruption is more likely than not. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but this is a very similar situation to an eruption in 2010 at Fimmerdehals. And it's still certain that if the volcano erupts in the area where it is now, it won't cause any damage to people or infrastructure. But if it decides to go more to the south, instead of just breaking through that one kilometer part that's left in the crust, it could turn into more of a problem, since if it makes it past these mountains, the lava has a clear right to flow towards Grindavik and cause major damage. But that's very unlikely, so we can stay calm knowing it will probably be a very harmless volcano. Right now, the magma dike is probably starting to cool down under Kalir, since we haven't seen any activity from there for quite some time. So it's very clear that the magma has chosen Fagradalsfjall and the area around there to possibly erupt and with only one kilometer left to push through the crust to reach the surface, it's very likely it's going to erupt in the next couple of days or even hours. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. If you really like the video, why not give it a thumbs up since it helps YouTube share it with others. Thanks for watching.